An extension of operating hours for primary health care services on weekdays until 7 p.m. and Saturday services until 1 p.m. are among the interim measures announced at the public meeting last night. A 24-hour emergency service is also due to be implemented by the end of April. Mbombo says a dedicated EMS service will assist with transporting patients who require a higher level of care to Caledon Hospital. It is justifiable for them to have rather have a complete package. But what I was trying to highlight to them that in terms of the planning for the hospital actually takes longer because you have to have a business case, business case that goes to the national for the funding, which often can take even up to 18 months. By the time uh, that you end up building, actual, to see the actual building, you will have probably uh, five years or so. The interventions have been welcomed by some members of the community, while others insist that a new, fully-fledged hospital is necessary for the area. What we want, as the minister say, the Hrabo is growing, the population is growing. What we need, it's a need, it's not a want, it's a need, a hospital in Hrabo. People need to understand that this march brought them a victory. Because what they asked for was a 24-hour service. They are going to get the 24-hour service at the end of April. The health department says it's also working on partnerships with farmers in the area to ensure improved access to health services for farm workers. Plans are underway for infrastructure upgrades and extensions to the current facility. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Krabo.